there, I'm Lenny Sagan with your Fox and News Now update. A woman charged in connection to a deadly shooting at a Theodore nightclub now facing an indictment for intentional murder. Brianna Cunningham had been free on a $100,000 bond until her arrest in November in Jackson County, Mississippi. Based on that new charge, Mobile County prosecutors are asking a judge to hold her without bond pending trial on the new charge. According to law enforcement, Cunningham gave a gun to her boyfriend, Robert Abrams, who then used the weapon allegedly to kill 45 year old Manchella Allen at the Cookies and Cream nightclub in Theodore back in February. Mobile police releasing the results of last night's safety checkpoint. They say 124 vehicles were checked. Officers issuing a total of nine citations, 11 warnings. Two people were arrested, including 37 year old Mario Tunstall. Police say he wasn't allowed to have a gun, but he did. When officers brought him to Metro, they say drugs were found in his underwear, too. Tunsall has been charged with possession of marijuana and a certain person forbidden to possess a pistol and promoting prison contraband. Police have not released the name of the other person arrested, but they say that person had 11 misdemeanor traffic warrants. The FBI now wrapping up the investigation into Gabby Petito's murder. They say her fiance, Brian Laundrie, was the only person they could identify directly involved in her death. Petito disappeared late August while on a cross country trip with Laundrie. Her remains were found in a camping area north of Jackson in Wyoming. Laundrie disappeared shortly after returning to Northport, Florida, where the couple's trip started. His remains were eventually found along with a book bag and personal items in a nearby nature reserve. The FBI saying Laundry admitted in a notebook that he killed Gabby. An autopsy revealed he died by suicide. All right, here's what we're seeing. The morning ice event, which did actually happen in some areas. West Mobile and Western Northern Mobile County, Northern Baldwin County has uh, finally waned. We've seen temperatures get above freezing their roads in better shape. We are settling in for what will be a cold night tonight. Looks like the precipitation is winding down. Still a few residual light sprinkles right along the Florida Panhandle Coast. As of the evening, most of that will shove offshore tonight. These are our afternoon highs. Unbelievable to see numbers this cold into the mid 30s. Look at it. 38 degrees for a daytime high in Brooklyn, 35 for a daytime high in Mobile, Alabama. That doesn't happen very often. And we've had some gusty winds today, especially early this morning. That's giving us an afternoon wind chill of 27 and it gets colder tonight. Our overnight lows will be in the upper 20s. Our Fox 10 future cast shows some upper level clouds and some showers, but that'll all fade out overnight as drier air begins to punch into the region. Really don't see any significant precipitation tonight. And uh, even though some of that cold air is lingering in the forecast area. Most of anything that happens will be well on off towards the east and we'll just see cloudy skies. So things are looking better as we get into tomorrow. We'll get some gradual clearing in the forecast area. Here's our 24 hour temperature trend below freezing after 11 p.m. tonight and staying in the upper 20s through daybreak tomorrow morning. The coldest night of this cold spell will be Saturday night with a hard freeze warning in effect down to 24. We will moderate a little with the temperatures along with showers arriving by the first part of next week. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 10. Try and stay warm this weekend.